What's going on, guys? I'm going to do an update here on Bitcoin futures. And <clears throat> do a directional update. Let's see if this looks right. It's actually a little see split screen. Make it so wide. I'm just watching Euro Pound right now. I'm sure that my guys and traders, we were on together live this morning. We had a nice session, but we were for a dragon that just came off pretty well. And then we've been selling the top end of this range up here. Anytime we get up to 89.20 so. Selling these rallies on the one minute. We sold the high today. But that said, let's look at it, uh, Bitcoin futures. Got to cover a little bit now. Screen. You know, it's, it's kind of sucks. This is just an example of sometimes you make mistakes where I actually was trying to get out of. I had, I had an offer in here to sell ETC up here at 7,700 and I didn't make it good till canceled. And so the broker took it out at the end of the day yesterday and probably would have got filled. Pop tick right there at 7,700. So I'm, we're still trading it around. I think I'm going to do that a little bit more on the near term as I get heavier. And so what I'm thinking right now is that Bitcoin either needs to hold the bands. And just because we leak below the bands here, we call these exponential moving average bands, um, these ribbon bands here. I just call them the bands for short, but since we poked through, um, this this is an area. So we went through it, held it, went through, held, and we've been we've been holding in front of seventy four hundred. And either we're gonna hold this area, which we did buy into on this dip after taking some profit on new highs. If we don't hold here, then I expect we fall right back into pie, and we we're gonna retest this major sixty eight hundred area. I just saw it news headline come across that Wall Street trader was saying the same thing. You got to hold 6,800. And I totally agree because that was the prior resistance that now becomes support. So, so that's my game plan. I'm either going to get heavier here right in front of 6,800 out we can kind of see that level so we had talked about or notice within the context of this downtrend what's been happening here is we had a big intermediate term um, tone shift change in trend what we call the TMS my traders know these pivots is what we were watching right here and so when we went through that a weeks ago that was bullish so we were buying down here a lot of people were calling for 5,000, which was just, you can't be that specific following at the, at the end of a long move like this. If you're trying to press the shorts when you're at 5,700, because you think you're going to get another 700 points to 5,000 in the big picture scheme of things. I mean, we fell from 10 to just shy of five. We want to get caught short in the hole so we were we've been buyers down here and this was an inverse head and shoulders that played out we were buying here took profits on the way up first into that level whoops into that level and then when we broke through i just put some of that position back on and then came out of it here on new highs but after this move this creates a nice what we call a bullish wall took a lot of effort for the bulls to get that up and about halfway is kind of the buy zone. So even if we pull back a little bit more, you can see how this is the 200 is arcing up. Our pie line is right here. This is all in the same area right in front of that big 6,800 level. So this was resistance. It's now going to be support. So I'm long here. And I'm going to get even more long down here, both on the cash market and then in the futures market. So that's how I'm going to play it. And on the upside, got a couple spots to watch. So obviously this was resistance here in front of 7,700, which I was trying to sell. I wanted to come out of a little bit there. 
Um, and you've got the 30 up here on the four hour that's coming down and kind of in that same spot. So resistance now is also right on the underside here of 7,800. So this was, this was a higher low that was support. You can see you even held it here on this day, 30th. And that broke, that's going to act as resistance now. So if we do rally, I'll be coming out of, I actually moved my offer down to like 76.80 just in case we rally back up near term and I get filled. But then I would take some more profit in front of 7,800. And then I'm going to let the rest run for these highs, like 82.60, 8,400. And then obviously stay core long for higher highs. So that's how I'm gonna play it. There's not there's no need to try to know need to know what's gonna happen next. If it rallies, that's my plan. If we go lower, that's my plan. Um uh, my risk is kind of below sixty eight hundred. Um that's a good spot where if we get much below that, I'm gonna have to think about stopping out on some or taking some risk off. You also have the thirty days coming into that same spot, so that looks good. Now we did talk about when we were taking some profit up here that the daily cycle is high, and then we came in this week and said the daily cycle is rolling over. So you need to be patient, and this probably needs to play out. Now we have a turning point also coming into this weekend on the eight point six, one of the eight point six waves we follow. So cyclically speaking, this is lining up with the oscillator that. This is probably a good spot for us to maybe make a higher low. I think it's either make it here or a little bit lower, like I talked about, near 7,000, 6,800. And then we should see another, you know, another three to five day rally, another swing time frame cycle back up, I think makes perfect sense. Um, and the other, we did buy some Ether today, but I just encourage you guys to follow us um, in our crypto crypto room, if that's something you would be interested in. Um, best way to get to that is go to blockedgecapital.com, blockedgecapital.com. Uh, this is our blog and podcast under media. Uh, we're building a digital asset management firm. We've got several projects and um, things we're doing on uh, the development side and legal side that we're some bu businesses we're building out. But our trading education. Is what we've been doing for a while so there's a chat room here it's free to come in check us out ask questions get in the right spot our trading our trading team which is a crypto trading team i give real-time alerts on what we're doing in our model and our, our trading so we were signaling a couple of buys here today um that more than pays for itself guys i mean if you're trading crypto and you can't pull out 100 bucks a month you probably need to do Step number three here, actually, which is a trading course and kind of get you get you, get you on the right path. But this is great to collaborate, have a community, um, have several traders in there that know what they're doing. They're on top of the market, talking all different coins all the time, timing cycles. We're also talking about different subjects from master nodes to mining. Um, so this is a great group. It's a great team. The trading course, this is my 10 years of trading institutional so my background is in fixed income i traded 40 to 60 billion a year big size took real proprietary risk i'm a directional trader so all my experience i put into a nine hour video and then you also have access to all this past live sessions i did and then if you're interested in really going to the next level um, this is my mentorship and coaching program we trade together live you also get the course um, but um, this is where and really get coached by me. We work together every week. This is how you really get better. S taking risk live, starting, stopping, seeing how to work a position. Um, but, you know, we've done today, I mean, 1,700. Uh, we line a pullback here on dollar peso. We were shorting um, cable right here into this balance, this lower high. All those stats are here. I've been kind of showing that. Um, but we're just getting started here, and this is the type of consistency, guys, that's possible. I hope that helps. I'll try to do an update tomorrow. Maybe we'll hit some more altcoins, and I'll, I'll update you guys on the cycle that's coming into this weekend. All right, hope that helps.